Okay, so we're talking carnival here, and I'm sure a lot of you can't wait for the two days of Street Jump Up. The Street Jump Up will be held on the 16th and 17th of February 2015. But before that, there are a number of shows, including pageants. An important aspect of Dominica's carnival is pageantry. We have a number of pageants during the carnival season. The main pageant is the Miss Dominica pageant, which dates back to the 1960s. Let's now introduce to you the seven young ladies vying for the title of Miss Dominica 2015. Greetings Dominicans, I am Normana John Baptist, humbly representing the communities of Tarishbit, Stock Farm and Lower Goodwill. Like Coco Chanel, I believe a girl could be two things, classy and fabulous. And with this, I believe that in character, in manner, in style, in other things, the supreme excellence is simplicity. I am 22-year-old Kiana John from Salisbury, not only representing Salisbury, but the whole West Coast by extension. One of my reasons for being here this evening is to fuel the fight against domestic violence. With orange being our color, remember that the 25th of every month is dedicated to ending violence against women. I am outstanding and outspoken Odessa Eli, 20 years old, sorry, 20 years old, representing the community of Bath Estates. I am sponsored by Big Edge Financial Express and Minia 7-Eleven. As a member of the Whitey Kubole Dance Theatre Company, my language is one of dance. It is often said that teachers touch lives forever. This is why I am honored to be an educator at the most prestigious secondary institution in the island, the Convent High School. My name is Biandra Blanchard. I am 23 years old. I am Miss Petro Caribe, representing the vibrant community of Point Michel. And currently, I am the office manager of the Healthy Living Wellness Center. That is why I have chosen the platform the importance of a healthy diet. I am 20 year old <laughs> Charis Nation representing Cassie Bruce and I am sponsored by the Dominica National Petroleum Company Limited. Overcoming challenges through growth to become a better person is my platform for this Carnival Queen pageant where I will be bringing greater awareness to the sickle cell disease affecting over 30% of Dominicans today. I am 20-year-old Patrice Dorset, representing the community of Maragat. My platform is solely based on building unity in communities because I believe that we are only as strong as we are united, as weak as we are divided. My name is Kelsey Wrighton. I'm from the picturesque community of Kings Hill. I currently work at the Fortune Hotel as a receptionist and I am honored to be their representative at this year's Miss Dominica 2015 pageant. I am also grateful for the opportunity to present a platform that I am passionate about, that is, customer service as a lifestyle. Joining me on the set now is Miss Dominica 2014, Miss Francine Barron. <laughs> Francine, thank you for joining me thank on the show, the Tanya Green Show. It's such a pleasure to have you. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. I'm doing great. Thank you. Okay. Tell me, what have you been up the past year? For the past year, I have been competing in pageants originally and also carrying out my platform, the platform that I held through the Miss Dominica pageant, which was youth empowerment and development, reaching your highest achievements. So I have been at the schools, the primary schools and the high schools, talking to the students, the young people, letting them know that I am here for them and I know what they're going through because I have been there. And also teaching them and showing them that they can be successful and carry out with their goals. And what has the response been like from the kids? It has been wonderful. I have been to the Convent High School, the Dominica Grammar School, the Pierre Child Secondary School, primary schools such as Tetmon and Grand Bay. And so many young children say they look up to me and how I have inspired them. Actually, I've received messages on Instagram and Facebook from young girls in particular saying how I inspired them and how they look up to me. 
And though it places tremendous pressure on me, but I am thankful and I am grateful and I consider it an accomplishment. You have been Miss Dominica 2014. Were your expectations met as Miss Dominica? Those I set for myself, they were met, but those that I was, ex I was expecting or those I expected from the public and from the people who are involved with the Queen, it, I can't say that they were met, but with life, everything can go as planned. Mm -hmm. If you had to do anything differently, what would, I, would, would that be? If I had to do anything differently, yeah. I think that I would have let my voice be heard a little greater. And also, I believe that we don't realize that though the Queen has to serve the public, we think that she has it made. Yes, we yes. think that she so has there are misconceptions yes. about being a Miss Dominica. I did a lot of favors, and in the end, you don't even see. Uh, for example, if I should give an, I think I should give an yeah, example. Sure. Yes. I was called at 7:30 in the night to do a photo shoot the next morning, and I had to find outfits and try to do my own makeup and everything. And the photos were not even used, and not even a thank you in the end. So I think the public isn't aware that the Queen, like everybody else, has to find the money and everything to do what they expect her to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, being a Miss Dominica, you are afforded an opportunity to pursue studies through a government scholarship. Mm -hmm. Are you planning on, on, on taking on that scholarship? Most definitely. I'm hoping to study education and hopefully some counseling as well because I'm particularly interested in young people and youth empowerment, I, as, as I have always been saying. So my scholarship will be geared towards education. Your reign is quickly coming to an end. Thank Francine. God. <laughs> are, you, are you ready to give up the crown? I am. I am. As I've been saying, it's, it's not as easy as everyone thinks it is. It's not getting dolled up and sitting with a crown. There are roles that you have to play. And again, to the public isn't always as supportive as we think they should be. So I'm really happy I'm handing it over to another girl. I wish her well. <laughs> okay, so what can we expect from Francine in the year ahead? Well, this year I'm going to focus on myself and getting prepared for university. Also, with jobs, I'm not as secure as I would want to be in, that f in terms of employment. So I'm going to focus on myself, eat as much as I can. Cause eat I'm no as long much? Eat yes. as much? Did you say eat as much? <laughs> yes. Why would you want to be eating? Too much. Again, Miss Dominica <laughs> isn't one. Uh, as Miss Dominica, you have to be on strict diets. Uh, we have to participate in regional pageants. So I was on the diet. Yes? Yes, and it's not as fun as, you know, they show on TV. You have to be going to the gym and you're really hungry. You're hungry sometimes. You just want to eat. <laughs> That's a very, very, very interesting revelation. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I, I wish you all the best in your in your future en endeavors um, what what would you like to be remembered as I would like to be remembered as having made an impact in the lives of young people I keep saying that I'm all for youth empowerment and development and though you may not always be remembered as such but I know for myself again with the messages I've received and the compliments that I did do what I wanted and I will be remembered for that to the young people, those I have inspired. Okay, wonderful, great. It's such a pleasure to have you Thank on you the Tanya so Green Show, Francine. Thank you. I want to wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you very thanks much. Thanks again for joining us. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
you're watching the Tanya Green Show. When we come back after this ad break, we'll talk carnival costumes. Calypso still will give you a chance Cause the country nice, bye The country nice And if you fall down sick Neighbors will come quick, quick, quick Don't mind if they gossip In their hands they don't mean it Cause the country nice, boy The country nice Imagine visitors and them come from overseas. Voting a government and tomorrow they flee. No need to protest, guess everybody please. You come to the right place at the right time. Everybody feel fine. Start up. Dominica is a parrot. Hey, 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 hey. Don't die, 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 die